Quintos here, and uh, I'm in, down in Barcelona to uh, see you on a Majesty Secret Service on, on the big screen. It's the first time I've seen it on the big screen. Uh, it's not as far to come as it might sound because uh, I used to live in Barcelona for nine years and I live just a, an hour away by train, so uh, it's, um, it's not far to come. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of, of George Lazenby. It's, although the film has got a great score and I'm looking forward to the alpine scenes uh, but uh, see if it uh, if seeing it on the big screen changes my opinion of it at all uh, I am looking forward to it and meeting up with the Spanish James Bond fan club here so um, I'm going to go in for a martini which uh, I've been promised before the film uh, let's, let's see what, what happens Hi there again, David Lee here, and I've uh, just seen the film. Um, it wasn't the best print. It's a uh, 35 millimeter bit scratched up, but it, the screen here is huge, fantastic um, presentation. It's in, in English here with, with uh, Spanish subtitles, so uh, really good for for me. I prefer to see my films in English language. Um, but the cinema's awesome. Great presentation of the film. Uh, here in Barcelona, and uh, so if anybody wants to make it over you know, uh, to Barcelona to see the rest of the series, uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, George Lazenby, I, I think, uh, on the big screen, he, I think he, he was a bit more forgiving. Maybe I'm a bit more used to him. I've seen, uh, I've seen the film. I don't know how many times. You know, obviously I've got it on DVD, seen it on TV. I don't know a million times. And so this is the very first time uh, I've seen it on the big screen. And definitely worth seeing. Uh, the Alpine scenes, as expected, were awesome. Um, really good opportunity to see Bond as Bond should be seen. Um, fantastic experience. Oh, and I met uh, Joanne, the president of um, the Archivo de Siete, the Spanish. Uh, James Bond fan club, uh, which was great to get in contact with him too. Okay, uh, speak to you soon. These days, because we tend to be used to watching Bond films on the TV and we've all got DVD and Blu ray copies, well, some of us have got VHS as well, and um, it's easy to forget that. The Bond films are designed for the big screen. They weren't even thinking of television and, you know, nobody had videos in those days. Um, it may seem strange uh, to many people, uh, but in the old days they used to, they, they used to uh, rerun films again and again and again um, on the big screen. I mean, these days they usually get uh, the initial release and that is it, then six months later it'll be to, to video. It's very, very easy to, to overlook that. And I mean, the, the screen that I saw on a Majesty's Secret Service on was absolutely huge. It's the biggest screen I have seen in Spain. Um, I've got no idea of the size, but it's very, very different to the normal uh, multiplex experience. Um, in fact, it, it's, the first, it's, uh, it's the first cinema in Spain that I've seen where they have a, uh, a curtain in front of the screen. It's, uh, it's, it's typical in the UK, or at least it used to be typical in the UK. I, I've got to say, um, apart from the um, premiere screenings I've been to of Casino Royale and of Skyfall, um, I haven't been to a multiplex for about 15 years. So. A, few, a few other things. The, 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 the print quality was, was terrible. Um, or it was terrible in, in parts because a, a lot of... Um, the cinemas now use digital projection. Uh, it's uh, you, you forget about the scratches and the, the you know the, um, the the clicks on the soundtrack and all that kind of thing. So uh, which makes it a, a genuine cinema experience. And um, it's also I think it's also notable how much the the dig, digital remasters, uh, which when were they done? Two thousand and five or something. Uh, they, they've made a big impact to, to the older films because um, I'd always remembered the 
the avalanche scene, how, how grainy the footage was because uh, there was supposed to be an avalanche created for the filmmakers. Um, the snow came down overnight, so they didn't they didn't manage to film it, and so they had to to buy some footage from from like Disney, I think it was, and it, it, it's very very grainy. And recently, when I've seen um, on a Majesty's Secret Service on, on DVD. I thought that the, the, the snow, the avalanche scenes were, were much better and I thought it must be my memory that they'd been so bad before, but no, they, they were definitely grainy uh, in the first place. Uh, other things, the, the fight scenes with George Lazenby, because yeah, he, he's a very physical actor, um, the fight scenes reminded me a lot of the some of the fight scenes of, in Quantum of Solace, which, uh, because... Uh, of its fast-paced cutting where it was criticised by many, including me, I've got to say. Um, the, the fight scenes weren't the problem really for me. The, the car chase was the big problem and then you know, the, the continual chase scenes. But um, the, where they did get it right in Quantum of Solace was when, when Bond goes after Mr Slate in um, IT, I think it is, isn't it? And uh, it has a fist fight and knife fight which ends up uh, with Mr Slate uh, bleeding to death. Um, the Some of the fight scenes with, with Lazenby reminded me very very much of, of that so um, which, is, which is a good thing uh, I'm not not going to criticize that. Um, yeah you can tell he's not an actor. If he'd done another film or another couple of films I, I expect he he would have improved. I mean, the the thing you've got to admire about him was his determination to go after the Bond role. He uh, he really went after it and he, he landed it. So uh, you you've got to give him credit for that. And you know, at the end of the day, if somebody offered me the Bond role uh, after uh, after Daniel Craig steps down, uh, I have no acting experience either. So I'm likely to do just as well and I doubt you want to see my my ugly face on the on the big screen anyway. If you get the chance to see any of the other Bond films on the big screen definitely definitely take it. Uh, you know it doesn't happen very often. This cinema specializes in in showing uh, films particularly from the 80s and 90s but it shows from other eras as well. Uh, this uh, this uh, was w one of um, a series of six screenings of, of Bond films organised by, by Archivo Thero Thero Siete, the um, Spanish James Bond fan club. Uh, I've got to say, great job. Uh, I, I enjoyed meeting Juan uh, at the cinema. Um, uh, and well, I'll, I'll definitely be staying in contact with him. Uh, perhaps we can organize something in the future, I don't know. Um, what else I've got to say? That's it, that's it. See Bond on the big screen. That is where it's designed to be seen. Okay, I will speak to you soon.